and that was the latest from P. Diddy, and to me, that sounds like a number one hit. I'm DJ Flame here with Sir Derbyshire. Yep. And you're listening to CSCS Radio. Now, Sir Derb. Yes. Have you met P. Diddy? Well, actually, Flame, you know I do travel in all the widest circles of musical stars, and P. Diddy is actually no different whatsoever. As a matter of fact, I happen to take credit for every single one of his names since he began his career. D this I've got to hear. Well, I remember the day I met him, actually. I, I remember it clearly. At that time, he was not known as P. Diddy. As a matter of fact, he wasn't even Puff Daddy. He was simply known in those days as Sean Puffy Combs, or Puffy to his closest friends. And I just walked into the absolute hottest post-Grammy party with a scrumptious Halle Berry on my arm. And everybody knows that being on the A-list, I only went to the hottest parties. Well, they were walking around wanting to introduce this new future star in the rap world. But anybody who's been to these parties knows that the noise level is absolutely out of control. Well, my ears started ringing, my head started to hurt, so I simply drowned myself in champagne, and who knows what would happen after that. <sighs> well, all I know is they walked up, tried to introduce him, because as you know, I had the number one syndicated radio show in the country, and the very next morning, my world-famous post-Grammy review show would be airing, and they wanted me to help promote him. I, of course, misunderstood because of all the noise in my champagne situation, and what ended up happening was I thought his name was Fluffy and not Puffy. I mean, I thought to myself, what kind of a rapper can make it in the industry with a name like Fluffy, but whew, kids nowadays, who am I to judge? So I remember the next morning very clearly because my special guest on my show at that time was Mr. Keanu Reeves. And I absolutely love Keanu because no matter what kind of a mood he's in, he always talks as if he's whispering, and that makes me feel quite safe and warm, I must say. So here I go, talking fluffy this and fluffy that for at least ten minutes, when suddenly in walks the station manager, and he interrupts my show to correct me right on air. It was quite embarrassing. Well, anybody who knows Keanu knows that he loves a good joke. He thought it was the funniest thing ever, and he started to laugh so hard, as a matter of fact, he laughed with such force that he blew himself right off of the stool upon which he was sitting, and halfway through ended up passing gas like nobody's tomorrow. And I just couldn't believe it that here I have Keanu Reeves totally cutting the cheese on the Sir Derbyshire show. To this day, he says that he did not do it. But I'm telling you now that it measured on the Richter scale. Who would have known that such a slight lad could create quite such an explosion? And the stench, I mean, the paint was dripping off of the walls. I couldn't take it. Anyway, everybody knows that you just do not go around calling someone like Puffy Fluffy and getting away with it. But lucky for me, Fluffy, I should say <laughs> Puffy, absolutely loved Keanu and absolutely loved the fact that he fought it on my show. So, he turned it around, thanked me for saving him so much embarrassment, and in that exact day, he removed the Y, added the word Daddy, and thus he became Puff Daddy. Sir Derb, why must there always be a <laughs> fart reference in your stories? I don't get it. You're kidding, right? You're kidding. My dear lad, if there's one thing Sir Derbyshire does not do, he does not kid. As a matter of fact, it was due to a spelling error that I made on my newsletter where I accidentally called him P. Diddy. He loved it to death, and he therefore changed his name to P. Diddy. So you personally are taking credit for all the times he's changed his name. That's rich. Really rich, buddy. Well, it's absolutely true, my boy. I mean, not unlike the time that I counseled John Cougar to add Mellencamp to the end of his name. Ah, yes, I remember it as if it were... All right, all right, all right. We'll save that story for another day. Yeah, and right. uh, I'm DJ Flame. That's Sir Derbyshire. And yeah. My gosh. You're listening to CSCS Radio. We'll be back with 40 minutes of music, but not before going to Pom Pom with weather and traffic.